Hello my beautiful people, Fat Rylan here, your one-stop shop for financial information and today I've got another update on Elrond. Within this video I'll be talking about some cool new partnerships and also doing an Elrond technical analysis. I know I've got a big Elrond community here so I've just got to keep pushing out those Elrond videos. I mean you guys already know Elrond's my favourite project and it brings me great joy when I talk about this project. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Just wanted to give another update. Next week I won't be posting any videos, I'm going on holiday. I know you're probably going what the hell, Rylan? You went on holiday like last week. What's going on? I thought you went to Scotland. Yeah, I did. I'm going on holiday again. <laughs> uh, just it, look, it's, it's, it's the summer, right? I'm just, let me enjoy summer. Uh, after that, I, I should be all good, I think. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure that, 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 well, there's nothing booked for, for after next week. But next week, no video. But then after that, should be back to normal. I do apologize. Just wanted to give a little heads up. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing I wanted to share, which I think is really quite cool, a new launch pad on Elrond Chainboost to power gamified IDO and NFT offerings. We are excited to announce that the Chainboost Launchpad platform will integrate with the Elrond network and enable projects and creators to launch their products on our mainnet. Chainboost is powered by Chain Guardians. If you guys aren't aware of Chain Guardians, it's another game with NFTs. It's actually quite fun. It's like uh, uh, kind of similar to Axie Infinity. Uh, pretty pretty cool. If you haven't checked it out, do check it out. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Chain Boost is powered by Chain Guardians, our close partner that is building a powerful NFT ecosystem where creativity fuses with multi-chain DeFi innovation. Their launch pad creates an environment where entrepreneurs and content creators can join forces with an engaged audience to make innovative ideas into reality. And I've mentioned this in my previous vid uh, videos where I've talked about partnerships related to NFTs. Elrond is a very viable option whenever NFTs are related, right? Because NFTs are super cheap to mint, super quick to transfer, whereas on Ethereum, it's extremely expensive. Elrond is both cheap and very fast when it comes down to NFTs. So more and more NFT projects are looking at Elrond and seeing the, the benefits it just it just makes so much sense to build on the Elrond network. Through gamification and chain analysis mechanism, Chainboost empowers the most active supporters to have a say in the platform's governance using the Chain Guardian governance token and get better access to new launchpad events. Through our collaboration, the Chainboost platform will integrate the Elrond blockchain to enable new products and their tokens to be deployed directly on our mainnet. It will also be possible to participate in launchpad events using ESDT. Elrond standard digital tokens. And something that I think is really cool is Emma Liu, the Chain Guardians co-founder and CEO states that ever since we joined forces with Elrond a few months ago, we've witnessed an incredibly rapid expansion of their ecosystem. There's tremendous growth potential that we look forward to catalyze with the Chain Boost launch platform and deeper integrations with the overall Chain Guardians ecosystem. More and more projects are starting to realize that Elrond is the pre one of the most premium ecosystems there is by being part of the Elrond ecosystem not only do the projects benefit because you know it's cheap the transaction fees are so low the transaction speeds are so quick but also the people who then use those projects those app decentralized applications see huge benefits as well because they don't have to spend ridiculous amounts of money to mint or transfer NFTs per se, or have to wait long periods of time because everything is done near instantaneously and at ridiculously cheap costs. Now, the next partnership that I wanted to highlight, this is a huge partnership in my opinion. I am a bit late to it. The holiday last week obviously interfered with this, but this is a huge partnership. If you've already seen it, you know, you've got the timestamps down below, just skip through to the technical analysis, but build all the world's data into powerful decentralized applications. The Chainlink oracles are now live on the Elrond DevNet. We are excited to announce that Chainlink oracles Oracles have been deployed to the Elrond DevNet. Developers can now explore supercharging their decentralized applications with reliable off-chain data from one of the most powerful decentralized data providers. Obviously, you guys have probably heard about Chainlink. Chainlink is a huge project. If you guys don't know the benefits of Oracles, I can make a full video on it. But a solid Oracle is vital within any ecosystem. It really helps deter any exploits from occurring. Having reliable off-chain data at near instantaneous speeds is very, very important. And Chainlink can offer that. Chainlink have been very good when it comes down to reliable off-chain data, right? Especially when you look at Elrond, which is trying to be this premium ecosystem. The decentralized applications, particularly for DeFi, will strongly require reliable off-chain data. The blockchain use case with the most significant importance in the current evolution of decentralized applications is decentralized finance. 
Real-time price feeds are a mandatory component for keeping on-chain financial applications in sync with the global market movements. So obviously I just mentioned that it is crucial for DeFi. As metrics change, as values change, they need real-time price feeds to be matching. They need to be near precise, instantaneous, right? It's almost necessary and Chainlink can offer this. And the fact that Elrond have partnered with Chainlink, one of the best oracles, the biggest oracles out there, it is fantastic to see. The Myra Exchange launch is about to kickstart the economic advancement engines in the Elrond ecosystem. Its liquidity will fuel virtually all the DeFi products that will launch on our blockchain. DeFi apps connecting to our DEX, Automated Market Maker, will require reliable price feeds from oracles. Of course, an exchange will need very reliable price feeds you know they can't be fluctuations causing flash loan attacks exploits from occurring this can't be happening right this is what brings an ecosystem down by having an oracle such as Chainlink, a lot of DeFi projects or ecosystems sometimes try and create their own oracle fail miserably after a flash loan attack occurs and then they go to a reliable oracle such as Chainlink. nice to see that elrond have done this right from the offset they're testing it out on their devnet is very very good to see very reassuring to say the least. Now for the Elrond technical analysis. Now with Bitcoin showing a little bit of red, obviously things can't just constantly go up, right? Bitcoin showing a little bit of weakness. We have broken down from this rising wedge that we uh, broke out from, right? We broke out from this rising wedge. The RSI I did mention in my previous video was hitting that overbought region. So some sort of correction or sideways movement was required for more healthy growth and we can see that we found resistance exactly within the 159 to 165 dollar range if i really zoom in you'll be able to see that we wicked into this region on two occasions and got rejected right we then try to establish support on this red line this red line i have mentioned numerous times this red line i have mentioned numerous times as it was a very strong support on numerous occasions on our way up back in january coming up to this red line again we started finding substantial resistance right and you can see how it was resistance we tried we were using between 130 dollars to 134 dollars as a floor to try and bounce and we managed to propel ourselves using this line uh above this red line trying to establish support as you can see and then with bitcoin showing weakness we have broken down but as you can see this support here from 130 to 134 dollars is establishing self almost like a floor right we can see that we have after passing this region we have wicked into this zone numerous times and every time we're getting solid buying pressure bringing us above right if we do break down from here I am looking towards $118 to $123. I have buy orders at around $120. If it, if it goes down that low, great. I've got more Elrond. Uh, I've got, I can't complain with that, uh, with more Elrond. But personally, it's right now, unless Bitcoin starts showing a lot of weakness, starts crashing, you know, it does seem like this support will hold. One thing to consider is the fact that the more times a support is tested, the weaker it becomes. But right now we are getting very, very positive price action from this support. Now, the key resistances that I'm really looking at, of course, is this red line, right? This red line, which is also coinciding with this area of resistance from $146 to $152. As you can see, we have a lot of wicks within this region, right? We had this one breakout above, but then we've met resistance, very strong resistance from $159 to $165, as you can see. Now, what I would like to see is if this proves to be the uh, as strong of a floor, as strong of a support as it's showing to be at the moment, is to bounce through here, break through both this resistance here and this trend line, establish support within this area. If we can establish solid buying pressure on this line or this support, I think it will give us the necessary momentum to break through this resistance here from $159, $165, right? With obviously the Myra exchange going through its chaos testing phase. I think there's a lot to come. We we are to expect the launch pad as well. The Maya launch pad at some point within the near future. Very, very exciting stuff. Once these start rolling out, I think the price will really start to get going. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. You know, the, you know the line. I'm a 24 year old sitting behind his computers looking at a bunch of graphs. But 
I'm uh, there's a reason this is my biggest holding. I'm I, I really do think this project has a lot of potential, especially with all the things that it has lined up within the near future. Now let's take a look at the the indicators. We can see that the RSI has corrected substantially from when I made the last video. It's sitting at around 61. I'd like to see it correct a little bit more if possible. Obviously not, not big problems if it, if it just carries on. This is on the daily, by the way. And we are currently finding, uh, I mean, we were establishing support on this 10 day simple moving average. And we can see now we have broken below on our retesting it as a resistance. However, we do have the 200 day simple moving average right beneath us. And it seems like we're establishing support on the 20 day simple moving average, which is very nice to see. If we can carry on holding support on the 20 day simple moving average, then flip the 10 day simple moving average. I think we could use that as a relevant support to really take us above this area, this very, very strong resistance area here. I think we could do this unless Bitcoin just starts really crumbling. Obviously we're gonna see some very, very negative price action for all the altcoins. But yeah, that was just a quick update on Elrond. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you didn't do dislike the video, let me know why you dislike the video so I can actively improve. Uh, like I said, no videos next week. I am sorry. After next week, should be back to normal. I do apologize. But yeah, it's been Fat Ryland and I'll see you in the next video.